the Indian auto industry is one of the largest in the world. It accounts for more than 8% of India's GDP. The luxury car market in India has seen immense growth in the last decade. This is because of the introduction of various products across different price points and also increase in the dealer network, especially in tier 2 cities. The leaders in the Indian luxury car market are Mercedes, Audi and BMW. In 2015, these three brands alone accounted for about 40 product introductions including new vehicles as well as variants of existing lineups. Many lower price cars were introduced like the Mercedes-Benz CLA, the Audi A3 and the BMW 1 series. These cars were priced between 30 and 40 lakh rupees. This boosted sales as there was a huge demand by first-time luxury car buyers buying entry-level luxury cars. The luxury car brands have also made finance easy by offering loans up to 7 years. The maximum sales of these luxury cars is in Tier 1 cities. Tier 1 cities are the top metropolitan cities of India like Mumbai, New Delhi, Chennai. Tier 2 cities like Pune, Amritsar, Surat are the most opportunistic and fastest growing markets and are expected to dominate the market in the coming years. When you compare the price of luxury cars in India, and the US or other European countries, you'll realize there's a huge difference. Let's take an example of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. The E350 long wheel base costs about 55,000 US dollars, which is around 40 lakh Indian rupees. The same car in India costs about 75 lakh rupees on road. You might be wondering why there's a huge difference in price of the same car and the same model in two different countries. Here's the answer to that. The luxury brands get their cars in India in two different ways. They either completely import the car or they import parts of the car and then assemble it here. An entire built car which is imported is known as a CBU. CBU stands for Completely Built Unit. These CBUs do not require any assembly before they can be sold out to buyers. When the parts of the cars are imported and assembled here in India, it's known as CKD or Completely Knocked Down. CKD units are first sent to an assembly plant where all these parts are assembled and one complete car is made using these imported components. When talking from an Indian perspective, CBU and CKD have a sharp difference in import duties. CBU units have over 100% import duty, whereas CKD units have about 60% import duties. The Indian government has strategically kept the difference in duties since CBU does not create as much revenue or employment that CKD does. CKD generates more employment as machinery and manpower investment is needed to assemble the components. Just to simplify things and put them in perspective, a Ford Mustang V8 which is sold in the US for approximately $30,000 which is around 20 lakh Indian rupees is imported in India as a CBU and sold for 65 lakh Indian rupees. That is almost three times the price of the car in the US. On the other hand, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class which we spoke about earlier is a CKD which costs around 75 lakh Indian rupees here in India and around 40 lakh Indian rupees in the US. So, the price difference is a little lesser when the cars are assembled here in India instead of importing completely built units. But why are even assembled luxury cars so expensive in India compared to other countries? Even though the cars are assembled in India, their parts are still imported. This involves a lot of taxes that push the cost even after taking the cheap labor into account. There's another reason to this. Like income tax, the government wants to generate more revenue from high-end car buyers 
so these luxury cars are taxed very heavily so car manufacturers like BMW Audi and Mercedes Benz prefer assembling cars in India whereas Lamborghini Ferrari Rolls Royce or Bentley prefer direct import this is why the price of luxury cars in India is so much more higher than the price of the same cars in many other countries